Hey everyone, BD checking in. Today, I'm introducing the new Spectrum 10 channel AS3X and Safe Telemetry Receiver. The model number is SPMAR10360T. Now, this is not just a AR637T or AR8360T with added channels. There are several new features that you'll want to be aware of for this new receiver. There's also a 10 channel non AS3X and safe telemetry receiver, which is model number SPM AR10100T. I've also got the SPM4651T, which is the DSMX SRXL2 serial telemetry receiver. I'm gonna be using both of these in a future project, so follow the channel if you haven't already to see that video when it's posted. So what we're gonna do now is take the SPM AR10360T over to the test bench, and we're gonna get a little closer look at the details and a further review. Included with this receiver is a positive and negative power cable to use for the voltage telemetry port and a receiver user guide. So let's look at the details of this receiver. Here we have an added micro USB port this allows us to download AS3X settings to the computer to share with other pilots and update the firmware. You no longer need a Spectrum PC programmer cable. You can use a normal micro USB to USB cable. However, you will need to download the Spectrum PC programmer software. I will have a link in the description, so you just need to click on that link and download the software. Additionally, when talking about updating the receiver, if you have a SRXL2 compatible device plugged in, when you're doing the update on the receiver, it will also update that device as well. So you no longer have to update the receiver, and for example, a satellite receiver separate, they both will be done at the same time. We have two additional telemetry ports added, which are great for combustion motor configurations. You have RPM port and temp port. So now when you're using your combustion motor, you can get telemetry readouts for temperatures and RPMs. Also added is two more SRXL2 ports. Let's look at the channel layout of the receiver. You will notice that channels one through seven are going vertical at the bottom and eight, nine, and 10 are going horizontal at the top. Down here is the bind and SR XL2 port. However, you don't need to use a bind plug with this receiver because it has a bind button located on the top. Last but not least, let's compare the size of the 10 channel versus the eight and six channel telemetry receivers. First thing you would think is, well, BD, it's a 10 channel, it's gonna be bigger. However, Spectrum has done a great job with adding the new telemetry ports, micro USB, and three extra channels, and minimizing how much real estate it takes up when we're mounting in the airplanes. Channel eight, nine, and 10 is mounted at the top horizontally. Even with those mounted at the top, you will see that the profile is still more shallow than the eight channel or the six channel. The 10 channel is the same width as the eight channel. The only place you add additional mounting footprint is on the length. And that's because of the additional telemetry ports and the micro USB. Overall, comparing the footprint size of the 10 channel versus the other two receivers, there's not much difference. So don't be worried about going with the 10 channel when it comes to mounting options in smaller places inside the airplane. My closing thoughts on this receiver, I'm personally excited that it's been released because me and many others have NX10 radios and we wanted to unlock the capabilities of having 10 channels. This receiver allows us to unlock all the channel capability, added telemetry features, the added micro USB port for easier connectivity to the computer, and keeping it in a compact design. Thanks for watching today. If you enjoyed the video or you're excited about this new release of the Spectrum 10 channel receivers, go ahead and push like on the video.
If you want to see future content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel while you're here. I appreciate y'all watching, and I'll see you on the next one.